Welcome to Capital Steel and Iron, a bridge fabricator specializing in big, big jobs, big girders, big bridges. This is Bay 6, with its 150 ton and 75 ton crane capacities. Capital Steel is one of very few fabricators in the U.S. that can handle jobs like this one. This is the first phase of a three and a half million pound bridge assembly. Capital Steel and Iron Company bid and contracted with Muskogee Bridge Company in April of 2007 to contract to build the railroad bridge to complement the new Interstate 40 Crosstown Expressway being built by the Oklahoma Department of Transportation. Skogie Bridge selected us because of our proximity, our competitive pricing, and our experience and ability in building railroad bridges. We were certified under the AISC major bridge category with fracture critical and paint endorsement. During phase one of the project, crews have been fabricating giant steel pieces that will fit into one of three bridge spans. They have 86 days to meet the project deadline. Capital's done a, a, a great job. Um, you know, the way you gauge that is when you erect girders like this in the field and they actually fit without having to expend a bunch of labor making corrections. Uh, this project's been unique in that they've actually assembled this stuff here in the yard, completely assembled it and completely disassembled it, and then we do the same thing that they did out on the project. That's the way it was designed. It was a contract requirement. So that pretty much eliminates a lot of the mistakes from a fit-up standpoint. Nine days later, the first bridge span is disassembled, and the girders are prepared for shipment to the job site. No easy task. The girders are among the largest ever built in Capital Steel's 100-year history and some of the largest in the country. They are 128 feet long, 16 feet tall, and they each weigh nearly 230,000 pounds. When you handle this girder, it's very unique in the fact that it's so large, it has to be handled just right because any little drop or bump can be a 300 to 400 ton impact if it's not handled properly on 150 ton members with the impact load. These girders aren't even the biggest ones on the job. In Capital's fabrication shop, construction is underway on two of the largest girders ever built for a railroad bridge. The uh, main thrust that our company has is big, big plate girders. Capital Steel and Iron LLC has done some extremely significant projects for large girder fabrication. Well, the capability of Capital Steel and Iron is virtually unlimited. Right now, we're into the heavy bridge business. In the past, they've been into the structural steel business. Capital Steel and Iron roughly has 25 acres of land. We have about roughly 300,000 square feet under roof. Probably one of the longest single bays in the country, 1,200 feet long. And the unique position we have is the fact that most structural steel fabricators do not have big girder capacity. So we will build the big girders as a subcontract to them with them supplying drawings, shop drawings, and materials for us to do the fabrication and transportation. Up here at Reno and Agnew, we need to cross over into the southbound lane.
the first span is delivered successfully to the job site. The process is then repeated for the second span, which is identical in size to the first span. So far, the project is on time and within budget, but it is not without its challenges. These girders are, are massive, and you can't just pick them up and wreck them in Oklahoma winds that blow 30, 40 miles an hour, so that's been a challenge. Other than that, it's going very well. Two spans down, one to go, the largest one called Span 5. It is 159 feet long. Its girders are 16 feet tall. The span weighs approximately 1,300,000 pounds. Representatives from Muskogee Bridge study how the girder reacts when moved so they can be ready at the job site to handle the large steel giants. He's gonna move these hooks to 25 foot from the end and just pick it up about four foot. Yeah, we just wanna see what it's gonna do. That's good. Fix the pick it up and they're gonna move it this way. They need to know how the girders going to react when they pick it up in the field. And then they're going to pick it up about four or five foot so they can see how the, how the girder bends. The first one we picked up did about, about the same thing. Okay. That wouldn't handle that. It's it worth everything. <laughs> Eleven days later, the deadline is approaching. It's time to dismantle the girders and ship them out of the plant. The plate girders we're dismantling and loading on trucks for shipment are 16 foot tall, 159 feet long, and they weigh 300,000 pounds apiece. The loading situation is loaded on a tractor with 23 axles of trailers and a push tractor in the back. It has to be loaded just exactly so that we don't overstress the steel as it's being transported land horizontally. It's 4.2 miles to the job site. It'll take us about an hour and a half to transport it. We'll be transporting, uh, moving out of here with two sheriff's escorts, two main escorts, two old dot official escorts, and the capital steel escorts. We'll leave at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, June the 5th. Travel will be at the job site about 3.30 on Thursday morning. It's moving day. Span 5 is ready to go. And Capital Steel has met its client's deadline. Our railroad bridge project is going exactly on schedule. We are in man hour budget. We are in budget on the material purchases. They've been on top of it. Everybody has. Everybody that John's had involved in it has been very hands-on. We've had several meetings sitting right here at this table that we've never had on another project. So it's uh, it's been a real uh, kind of bonding between Muskogee Bridge and Capital Steel on this on this project because it was difficult on, from day one when the first load of steel got here to to uh, day zero. I can see this as we build it. I can see it from the plans. I can see it from the mill order process. I can see each plate as it's fabricated and as it's assembled and as it's erected. And when it's all finished, I can stand back and look at it and say, we had a part in doing this, in building the Oklahoma infrastructure.